Hi, it's Chester Topwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training. In this video, we're going to look at the VBA code needed to apply a dynamic date filter to an Excel table. So a dynamic date filter is one that keeps itself up to date. So if we ask for all this month's records, then every time it, the macro uh, plays, it will always return the current month's records. So I've started the sub procedure for you uh, with some variables. I've declared a variable for the worksheet, which is set as the active sheet, and then a variable for the table that I'm applying the filter to, and that is set as this table called transactions. See the name of it there. So that'll just simplify the code that I now have to write. So I can refer to that variable for the table. And I'm going to refer to its range property. And a method of that range property is auto filter. That has a number of parameters, the first of which is field. And that's just after the position of the field within your table that you want to apply the filter to. Date is the second column. Then the second parameter I'm going to use is criteria one. And that is going to give us, if I do uh, control space and write Excel filter, control space brings up the IntelliSense list. Excel filter, you start to see some of these date filters here. If I type this, then you've got Excel filter this month, this quarter, this week, this year, today, tomorrow, etc., etc. So you can see how you can apply those different date filters that correspond to the current date. So if I say Excel filter this month, comma, and then the operator for that is going to be is the final parameter I'm going to use. Now, um, what I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to do control space, Excel filter dynamic, Excel filter dynamic. Okay, there we are. So let's see if that actually works. We're in January of 2019 as I do this video. So if I play it, there we are, I have all of the January records. If I said this year, play it, I'd get all this years. If I said today, and play that, that returns today's date. And I believe also there is one called year to date. If I do that. I'll show the records year to date. So there we are, a couple of options, well, a few options there that you can use with dynamic date filters. Hopefully that's been useful. It's been Chester Tuckwell at Blue Peacock Computer Training.